Zero announced the new SRS electric motorcycle and showed us some foggy footage only. To make rumor perfect, I will talk about my expectations and why they probably don't support DC fast charging. Hello electric riders, <laughs> Lexi is back again. First up, this video is not a hate speech, it's more like my wish list and nerd talk about what we can or should expect from Zero. Do you remember, back in 2017, Icon showcased this customized Zero electric sports bike, which was so dope man! <laughs> Yeah, I fell in love with it. I can't say I'm not influenced because in 2018, <laughs> you see it, I bought the Zero SR and yeah, maybe you recognize some similarity. I really was influenced by this. The Icon sports bike was my dream bike, but I definitely missed a bigger battery capacity and a DC fast charger. The SR stands for street race and the S probably for sports. And I heard rumors it could be about a sports bike fairing. Besides new colors and probably the new sports bike fairings on the SRS, I expect, hope, guessing, <laughs> yeah, whatever, Zero will drop an upgraded bike with approximately a 20 kilowatt hour battery and finally a DC fast charger, which is absolutely overdue, man. I wish a bigger battery, not because they should start competition with Energica or something stupid like that, nope, <laughs> even more because the average customer, I talk about this kind of stereotype, you know, who has always range and anxiety and belief that hydrogen is the better solution just because it's a stupid fluid man. <laughs> With a range of 400 km or 250 miles, this range in anxiety will go away, no matter if they drive only 30 miles a day. But to understand why it's not so easy just to add a DC charge plug on the motorcycle, we must go back to the origin of Zero. Back in the days, Zero was that kick-ass motorcycle company who showed the world that electric motorcycles are not a joke anymore. Zero was founded because of enthusiasm by an engineer and innovator, Neil Seisky. And sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but yeah. Back then, Zero was called Electric Cross, but sounds really retro. <laughs> this first bike they made was called Drift, and it's comparable to the Zero Light B today. But think about it, this was 14 years ago, and it was a really badass bike. All Zero motorcycles looks very familiar since 2006 and the basics did not change besides some plastics and other minor adjustments. Even the operating voltage did not change. And all newer generations like the FX, SR, DSR and the new SRF were based on the same low current system. But what the heck, low current? <laughs> yeah, simply because high current above 100 volt is dangerous and needs some special training to handle with as electricians have. So think about it. You got these new awesome electric bikes and try to convince new dealerships to sell them. Besides it is electric. <laughs> you need convincing arguments to win new dealers and customers for your brand. It's really not an easy task. But on top, <laughs> yeah, say, yo dude, <laughs> you need a special training course to deal with high current. And yeah, yeah, it costs only 20 grand. <laughs> yeah, of course, no way, man, this is a deal breaker for any traditional motorcycle dealer. The reason Zero stick to this low current system is quite obvious. Zero got access to the already existing motorcycle dealer network and it's easy to convince some new dealers. Besides, no expensive training course is needed to repair and maintain the bikes. And also, all electronics parts were mostly available in the US because many 100 volt applications already exist and must not be newly invented. As an electronic motorcycle manufacturer, Zero has the most dense dealer network on the entire planet. This strategy was one of the keys to success for Zero. But with low current comes high amps and high amps causes heat. We all know the thermal issues with zero motorcycles as soon we are open the throttle. So why not change to a high current system, better thermal management and faster charging. It's all we want. 
The only obstacle is that the high current training course many motorcycle dealers deny to achieve because they don't see it as a smart investment. In this area, Energica has the lead and Harley Davidson is seriously catching up in 2020. My apprehension is that Zero could miss that entry point and losing the lead as a pioneer company very rapidly because competitors don't sleep, they're hungry. Yeah, this is why I think the new SRS will probably carry an approximately 20 kWh battery without a DC fast charger. But here is my concern. If you carry a 20 kWh battery on your electric motorcycles and want to have a full charge in 30 minutes, which is the market standard compared to Energica or Harley. <laughs> yeah, think about it. You need a 40 kW AC DC converter on top of your motorcycle. <laughs> and besides the higher cost and additional weight, it just looks so hilarious. As I told you in the beginning, this is my wish list on zero motorcycles. Nevertheless, I am very thankful for what Zero has done in the past few years. Just to be that kick-ass company who showed all the doubter they are wrong. It doesn't matter if someone likes or dislikes Zero. They are a great manufacturer with a great vision and a straight attitude which is so just outstanding. So please Zero, make it happen. Lexi wants to see a DC fast charging motorcycle. Ride fast, charge faster, see you next time.